Okay, welcome to the Swing Trading with Cycles channel. We're going to do a review of Devon Energy today. We're going to focus on one specific name. Um, and the reason is because this thing just continues to stand out to me uh, among the other uh, uh, crude oil names as like the weakest of the, of the bunch, right? Or one of the weakest of the bunch at the very least. Um, to the point where, you know, it's probably appropriate to start looking at puts. The thing that makes me a little bit hesitant on that is the puts I'm seeing are like a super high IV, like 40, 40 to 50%, which is crazy expensive. So definitely something to consider. But uh, but I do think this is actually, you know, in some ways a textbook case of just kind of reading trend. And so I want to use that as our example here. Um, so this is our two panel chart, which we've been using to compare you know, let's say one name versus like its ratio to something else. So in this case, Devin is on the left and Devin divided by XLE is on the right. And so this is a weekly chart, but let's make it a, let's make it an annual chart. Yikes. This actually makes it really clear what's happening here. Okay. Yeah, this is a good place to start, right? So again, Devin energy on the left. Devon Energy divided by XLE on the right. And of course, you can kind of pick your poison if you want to divide it by something else, some other index, or, a, or an individual name. doesn't really matter. The, the point is, if you want it to be in energy names, is Devon the place to be, or are there other places to look? And or, you know, if you have the conviction, is this a potential short? Again, the, the high IV definitely gives me a little bit of pause, but... Let's 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 think about this. So the annual chart, the absolute chart on the left hand side actually is pretty darn bullish. Right. So we'll just mark this swing high here just really quickly. But but most more importantly, the swing low, this most recent one. Oof, look at that. Right. So we'll focus on the left here. Sorry, I don't mean to confuse. So fo focusing on the left, which is the, the chart of Devon Energy itself. That's your 2020 bottom. So we had a low of $4.70, and now we're all the way up here at $67. So well over a 10 to 1 if you somehow bought this wick. I mean, even if you bought the close of that month, which was, what was that, fifteen eighty one, up here at $67, you are still doing well. I mean, the all-time high is $127, and that was in 2008. So that's your global financial crisis top, which we haven't gone back above yet. And if you look at the ratio chart, the, the the swing high came on that same year, that 2008 global financial crisis. Again, this is Devon Energy versus XLE. And you can see the downtrend that's ensued ever since. We'll just draw it just to be very clear. And then, again, in this case, a downtrend means Devon is underperforming XLE. And whenever we're going up, it means Devon Energy is outperforming. So we made this move down. Then we have this little lower high. And then we have this lower low. And then we had this lower high. And then we have this lower low. Now we made a much higher high, right? That just disappeared. Let me just do that again. That, 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 that. Wait, sorry, that's not right. Let me just do that again. So we made all we made this move down, then we had a lower high lower low and then we bounced let's say this candle yeah i guess this candle is the highest that we got after that candle right and then we made a lower low i mean there's a little lower high in here too but then we made it and then look where we ended up so like this is higher than this higher lower high so that's positive that's that means it's starting to reverse the downtrend right we're starting because you know this was last year 2021 this this big green candle so this was a big outperforming year for Devin. And you can see in absolute terms, we got we, we confirmed the swing low that year off of the 2020 um, candle. And so last year was the year to be in Devin versus XLE. But that came after a massive downtrend. That said, look at how this candle took, takes out all of these candles, like all of these years of outperformance or underperformance rather, kind of wiped away. But what are we getting now, right? We're getting a pullback, 
That said, it is consolidation at the upper end of the range, as I talk about, right? If you think about this candle, this candle is really just consolidating in the upper end of it. That said, the way this is setting up, I mean, think about what the next candle will look like. And again, in this case, the next candle is 2023, right? This is setting up for something like this, right? Where your next candle makes a lower low, and that makes this a swing high. And then think about what that means structurally, right? Like, it's important that you... You start to kind of, in your mind's eye, see how this might develop. Look at that, right? All of a sudden, this becomes a lower high. I mean, that's what this is shaping up to be, right? This becoming a, this being a lower high than this ultimately, right? Technically, this is still, right? Like, we're, we're still kind of on top of this structure here, right? So we're in a local uptrend, but this could mean a more long-term downtrend. And again, this is all the ratio chart here. So we could still continue to rally on Devon Energy in absolute terms, but what it would mean is that you'd be better served putting your money in the index, right? Like there's no reason to take on additional risk of like single stock, right? And if we look at if we look at Devon, like the chart on in absolute terms, on the daily we're really seeing a topping pattern, like just kind of textbook in a way, right? Like I'll just draw the swing highs. So first off, we had a swing high back here. That was June. Of 2022 we had this massive move lower and then we have this rally that failed to make a new high it just made another swing high and then we had like this series of swing highs that just couldn't get through that level and then we burst through it and like okay maybe we're there no that's a swing high that's a swing high that's a swing high let's zoom in on those last few swing highs just to be really clear here right so again we kind of had this, you can, I'll draw, I'll draw some kind of like ray here, right? That, that should be easy to see, right? Like somewhere around here, like a lot of sellers have shown up, right? Like they just, you know, like around this level. And then we finally crossed above that level, but then we immediately failed. I mean, look at this candle. That is, that is, that's a, that's a very telling move. That's a lot of selling happening in one day that started above this line and ends way below it. <laughs> and then we get a little rally that's feeble. It stays inside the range. So notice after that rally, everything happens inside the range of that candle, right? Every actually, well, there you go. Everything is still inside the range of that candle, right? That's from November 2nd. And maybe there's some fundamental thing that happened. I don't know. I'm not diving into the fundamentals here. I'm analyzing price. I'm trying to understand what is happening with price right now and what does that tell us about what is likely to happen or continue to happen with price, right? And so that is your first kind of tell, right? Like we, again, we started above that level and then closed way below it. And now we've just been chopping around. So basically between $75 and $67. And we broke down below that level and then sprung back up. But now we have this upper wick which again is potentially a swing high. It is a swing high right now. We're trying to rally back. This is a daily chart. But if we fall below this level of consolidation, we probably end up down around 63. And then between that, there's a gap fill from 63 to 61, 68. That's part of the reason why, like, even in spite of the high IV, I probably will take a small position in the puts because it's just so crystal clear if we do break that consolidation box. And I'll say this series of lower highs as they continue to form was your tell kind of along, all along the way. Once you made this big candle here and then you kind of got this move that kind of retested the lows, there was no reason to continue to own this thing. I mean, who knows? You may have a great cost basis. Maybe you got in at that, at that low at 16 bucks. No way to tell. But as I look at this, I think about this as a cautionary tale. Because when we think about the higher time frames, what this is telling me is this little rally that we've had on the weekly level has topped out, right? It's a rally that started here, right? So we had a little rally, one, two, three, four, five weeks, made a new high. And now, remember that big daily candle? That big daily candle has created this big weekly candle, which ends up being a doji because we had that little rally on the inside of that range. I hope you, that that makes sense, right? Like this candle is a doji because of this move up, right? 
like this formed the candle and then like this would this would have been what the weekly candle looked like right but instead we got this little rally up so we created this lower wick on the candle and obviously we have this upper wick because um the candle had already like we had started up here in the week right so like this is your upper wick right the green and this is your lower wick that's kind of a way to think about it again i say understanding how candles form is, is really important now the week is trying to go green again right we're kind of oscillating between red and green we opened at 6760 that's an important thing to understand where we open tells us if we're going to stay green or, or go red and so in this case we are like kind of fra like going back and forth notice this pre previous week actually closed in that same kind of sort of limbo state all of this is not a good look when you look at it on the weekly chart if we break down this consolidation box what pivot looks like it's most likely it's the same one we talked about on the daily right around the 60 well we talked we looked at the 63 area but you can see it, we may get a price reaction you know closer to what is that actually no right that low is six that low is 63 so that line is 63 and then maybe even all the way down and retest this pivot around 56 right so definitely some pretty clear downside levels and if we finally look at the monthly chart on the one hand this looks strong it looks kind of like like if you if you squinted your eyes you're like oh this is a bull flag but if you pay attention to the details we've just been kind of chopping around here which is what a bull flag is to be fair but if you think about the most recent move this is setting up for something like this as your next candle right now it may still remain a bull like you could say okay well this whole thing is still a bull flag but it's like does one want to be long during this move down maybe not right either way we could come down and test that pivot right here and still say okay and that's around 48 dollars 49 dollars and we can say oh yeah yeah but it's still a bull flag well sure but i mean that's like another 15 to 18 dollars lower from here which isn't fun obviously so that so that's the sort of look on Devin. i think the idea is that hopefully like you can you can use these principles on any stock right like it's the same price and not just any stock any asset so when did we top out let's see what's the high here 79.40 that's that 79 yep so it was this month 79.40 and that is the same way that we think about the three-year cycle for oil. So that's month 27. So this thing has run quite a while, right? We've already rallied for 27 months. If you think about that in the context of a three-year cycle, right? So that means this is month 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So we're getting probably close to where we might get a low. That, that's interesting, right? So this one might be leading the other ones lower and this might actually like this is essentially following oil lower faster than the xle itself like per that I, I have a separate video that kind of talks about that but this could just be our move into the three-year cycle low and so you know maybe it doesn't get much uglier than like 45 49 um in that area um but either way near term and all signs point do point to lower and you can see we're oscillating green back on this daily uh, but again it's all about this consolidation box here and i suspect we're going to break 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 it down right so that's a move below call it 66 68 and that takes you to 63 so that's like another five dollars and then you have like a potential gap fill so you're probably looking like more like seven dollars so you can easily get a nice spread on calls for sure so we'll leave it there. That's our uh, analysis of Devin, quite bearish, I would say.